Hey guys, this is Prack with Digital Life and iRepair MD, and we're gonna have a special Q and A section session regarding these um these balance board scooter or uh, mag board. And this is a pretty much a blockbuster item for the year for all big kids. So uh, I'm pretty sure you guys are wondering should you buy it and what should you look for. So I'm gonna answer some of these questions and this is from my YouTube uh, subscriber. I'm gonna read this. Okay, so um, the problem that you have is it sounds like a classic balance sensor issue and these are the balance sensor here and if you turn on the board what happens is it runs a diagnostic and the balance sensor has to be actually on reset in order for the blue light to, to turn off. So if balance sensor is broken, it means that the relay is not being reset. So what you need to do is actually just replace the balance sensor. And you, if you have both blue light on, it means that the balance sensor is bad. Okay, so um, by resetting and doing a factory reset, you could have damaged it further. Okay, it sounds to me like when you turn it on, you, your your remote. Uh, okay, there's a there's a chip right on top over here. You don't see it, but uh, there's a there's a remote a Wi-Fi remote option up here, and using that Bluetooth does sometimes get in get in the way of the uh, the power button. But it sounds to me like you do have a disconnect wire on your power button, and the power button is located. There's a wire. From the power button, there's two black and red wire that goes to this main board right here. And if you have it severed, you won't be able to turn on the board. But I believe that if you open your board up, you might see a loose wire, and that should solve your your problem. That sounds like it. Uh, I would go for the easiest fix first. Uh, right now, uh, I would try to replace the battery. One way to find out is actually to dis disengage the battery, okay? And then plug it in and see if it powers on. If it powers on and does the same thing, uh, that, would be, that would be the battery. But after you just engage the battery and you plug it in and nothing happens, it would be the balance board. It would be the logic board. Your problem looks to me like the balance sensor is not reading properly. So what, what needs to happen is that each sensor needs to be online. Once you step on the board, it it needs to read pressure from both sides in order for it to uh, for the uh, accelerometer to calibrate and you have a calibrating issue could be your wheel is not resetting properly and when you have that red light right there it, it could be a various a lot of different issues uh, replacing the balance sensor won't do it replacing the logic board might but it also could be you have a bad motor right here or one of these connectors one of these wheels one of these check the wires on here check your yellow, green, and blue wire. Make sure it's nice and fastened because um, it sounds like you have an issue by sending power to the uh, accelerometer that's inside, that's near the wheel. That might be the issue. So it could be the motor or it could be the, the main board. Uh, I would open up the board and actually verify it. Just check all these connectors first, okay? That would be pretty much the same issue. You know, when you have the lighting, the red light staying on, it could be just the three wires uh, from both sides. Just verify that it's nice and snug. Because sometimes when you get a dirty shipment or when, after you ride it for a while, this could just like pop out. Once it pops out like this, you will have that error. So make sure that you have it nice and snug in. And that should do the trick. If not, you know, just give us a call. We might be able to handle the repair for you.
that's definitely a logic board problem right there. So when you have that issue where you have a hard time turning it on or charging, and you have all these different lights, it's one of these capacitors that's gone bad. And um, I would replace the logic board. But again, uh, if it's too much to handle, send it up to us and we can actually uh, give a proper diagnostic. Again, that is, uh, sounds like a classic um, balance sensor. Your balance sensor is probably not going right on yours. So what we need to do is uh, power up the board and then check for the blue light, okay? Uh, add pressure right in this point right here to see if a blue light turns on. Then go to the back, press it again, look for the blue light. And then go to this side, press down hard if you see the blue light. And then let go and then do the same for the back. The whole entire time you're checking to see if the blue light is, is responding. If it stays on completely, it means that the balance sensor is bad. If it doesn't come on, it means the balance sensor is bad also. If you press the front here and the, back, the blue light turns on and you press the back, it doesn't, it means that the back part is off. And you still need a brand new balance sensor right here and we have it on our website. That's a, the side that's completely dead is a bad balance sensor. So majority of the problem that you guys have seem to be the balance sensor. And uh, you can definitely get it from our website. But if this is a little too intimidating for you, send it to us, we'll run a diagnostic and we'll give you a, um, a quote. Okay, so this is Prac with IREPRMD, safe repair.